somewhere in the eastern Mediterranean, uh, there are, I think, now three boats, quite small sailing boats, uh, heading towards Gaza. Um, some women are trying to break that blockade. I know this has been all over social media and quite rightly, and lots of people are supporting their initiative, and I give them my absolute uh, admiration and respect also. As we speak, I'm in Mexico City, uh, where I'm working. Part of the show that I'm doing here demonstrates uh, another area of solidarity with these brave women who are going to Gaza. And it is a Celtic football club in Glasgow, in Scotland. They had a European Cup tie against an Israeli team. And uh, as a peaceful way of demonstrating uh, their disapproval of the policies of the Israeli government in the occupation of Palestinian territories, uh, thousands of Celtic supporters turned up for this match and they carried Palestinian flags and banners. UFA, in its incredible imbecility, decided to fine Celtic Football Club. I think it was 60 or 70 thousand pounds for display of inappropriate images and banners. So the supporters banded together, great Glaswegians that they are, and said, we're not having that. So they started a fund that was called Match the Fine, and they, ma they actually raised double the amount of the fine that UFA had imposed on them, and they distributed it to Palestinian charities. So good on you, you Celtic supporters. I'm an Arsenal supporter myself, but in this particular instance, I'm with you all the way. And uh, thank you, and good luck to those brave women.